Hello there and welcome back to Space Simulation Toolkit, the game where there's a random piece of snow flying off into the sky. Anyway, this is the game where uh, the sun is currently melting everything, but at the same time, it, the oceans are being refrozen because um, stuff is happening. The plants, the plants are in the way. You know, I'm gonna try and put in another sun so that we we have orbit. Which which one is it? I think it's this one on the edge. Wait, wait, wait. We got two suns. Orbit, orbit, radius. Oh, 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 we have it orbiting, we have it orbiting, maybe. I'm gonna increase the radius a little bit. Where's it gone? There we go. That's a good amount. And this one has 10, 250, and 10. So I need to set it to about 10, 250 and 10. And then after all of this goes for a bit, this this sun over here can be deleted. Deleted, dated. And I'm just gonna make the sun in the middle a little bit stronger. And hopefully that's gonna still be fine. Maybe. Also, I might make this sun also orbit a little bit. Hang on a minute, why is our planet spinning? Hmm, that's weird. I don't know why it's not orbiting. But oh well. There we go, that seems good enough. Anyway, yeah, what do you think of this planet? How is it spinning? How is it actually spinning? I don't... I don't know how it's spinning, but to be honest, I'm not complaining. Anyway, I'm... Oh, well, this was over there a minute ago. Anyway, I'm gonna... Let's put some dirt over here, which, okay. Uh, as far as I know, that's not how dirt works. So I'm just gonna um, fix this here. I'm just gonna delete a little layer around the entire planet and just, you know. There we go, that's done. So I'm gonna hope that this is gonna work. And uh, yeah, this planet is working. I'm just going to let it stabilise for a little bit, and uh, then I'll get back to doing stuff. So I've done some stuff, and I've saved this, and it's lagging. Uh, I don't know why it's lagging, but... Um, I don't know. There we go, so I have the game. Oh, why is it lagging so much? It's paused right now, if I unpause it. Please work. There we go. Anyway, so we now got two suns orbiting in different directions. One of them is moving faster than the other one. We're also kind of running out of water, which is... I'm actually not sure how that's happening. Oh. Oh, it's because of all the plants are eating the water. And then all the plants are dying. Because they can't get any sun. Look. 
or they, they get iced. All the plants turn into ice, and then that ice turns into water, which then melts and feeds more plants. Because the the plants, I think that they use multiple water for one plant. That and I think that some of the plants turn into dirt. Wow, this is this is cool though, isn't it? I might need to add a little bit more water. Just make it rain. Or actually, why not simulate a tsunami? What I could do is make a big blob of water over here. And what this should do is start making the water level rise. I mean, it is kind of just a massive wave right now, but, you know... Um, tsunamis aren't just massive waves, they're kind of the, the water levels rising slowly. And that's exactly what's going to be happening over here. Yeah, look, look, you've got the water coming in. And it's all going to be... Oh yeah, look at that, it is literally just a tsunami. It's even... Oh, it's doing watery stuff, it's doing the thing where if it goes over a bump it does... Oh yeah, look at this though. This is definitely a tsunami. Oh my goodness, how is... Oh, look at this over here. It literally got some air time. This game is just way too cool. Anyway, I wanted to try and do some earthquakery. And, oh yeah, I feel like we've succeeded in the Earthquakery. Also, I'm, I kind of want to get some land. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to go and uh, make some land. Make a little island. There we go. This seems like a very islandy island. And we need some plants on it so that it doesn't, you know, not island so that it doesn't melt and stuff but it shouldn't melt anyway oh all the plants are turning into ice oh um don't you just hate it when your plants turn into ice anyway now that we've got a little island over here we can also probably go and uh increase the land amount under it but you see, this land here is very fragile, and um, uh, I wonder actually if I maybe I don't know, make a little city out of this. Because everyone knows that cities are made of metal. It's going to be a city of a bunch of pyramids because pyramids are the easiest way to build a structure. Cool. You can hold down the spacebar and it does stuff. Anyways, no, we now got a city which shouldn't melt. Yeah, I don't think this city is gonna melt. 
Anyway, what we can now do is we can go and uh, give it a little earthquake. Just uh, look at that. Oh no 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 no! Don't stick your keys. Oh, I did some crazy stuff. I think that I may have accidentally volcanoed. Oh well. So, um, Volcano time, maybe, come on, please, please, please Volcano. Volcano, please. No, the metal is just too strong. Oh, it's raining, look at that. It rains. That's cool. Oh. Oh no, but my volcano, my earthquaking has accidentally sent the entire earth off of its axis. Oh, but we kind of got some tectonic movement over here. That's cool. We've, I don't know why I have my headphones on, I just realised. Yeah, so, what do we have happening now? We've got a planet, and we're going to have a bunch of natural disasters happening, so we don't have earthquakes. Which don't really do much. Mm -hmm. Kind of disappointing. Oh, although earthquakes in the core. Earthquakes in the core can mess stuff up. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah, that is doing some real damage. No, 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 no. I don't want sticky keys. That was kind of a relatively small earthquake, but if we make it bigger. Oh. Oh, that is. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, that is gonna seriously mess up the earth. Oh, look at these! No, don't, don't do sticky keys. Oh wow! Well. So look at this, for example, this city. It has, I guess, it's it's fallen because remember this used to be kind of in line with the surface, and the entire city has fallen to the point where it's now, eventually, it's going to be below sea level. This is the story of Atlantis right here. Oh, big earthquakes! These are probably some magnitude a lot earthquakes. I'm gonna have a rule where I can only do earthquakes until Sticky Keys turns on. Oh, and yeah, look at this. So the, these deep earthquakes are damaging, but what about shallow earthquakes? Oh yeah, shallow earthquakes are even worse. Oh yeah, this is fun. So yeah, that's how earthquakes work. I guess I could also kind of do it do a bit of side to side movement. Um, maybe maybe side to side movement earthquakes are not the best idea. Yeah, we kind of just have a volcano now. Look at this, the earth is just being, it's ejecting stuff into space. 
and this city which is basically just Atlantis now has sunk and on the next I'm pretty sure that the next time it's in the sun the rest of the water will cover it which actually that's gonna be not very long and it's gonna have it's gonna have the slowly moving sun covering it because as you can tell these suns are moving at different speeds so all of this water is probably going to be flooding if it doesn't completely flood the city I'll honestly be kind of surprised I mean it's flooding this and it should it's definitely will be able to flood it eventually Anyway, with earthquakes, what other natural disasters are there? Oh yeah, we've, we've also kind of gone tsunamis, I guess, which we can probably just finish off that whole thing with tsunamis right now. Oh yeah, look at that. So this is ba this right here, that's kind of fake movie tsunamis, but this right here, this is basically real tsunamis you've just got a bunch of water and the water level will rise really quickly and you can see over here if i put my mouse kind of at where the water level is now or it where it is here you can see that the water level is just going up and yeah this little movie tsunami did completely cover the planet because tsunamis aren't a wave they're just a slow rise of water which is Honestly, kind of even scarier when you think about it because you've just got so much water flowing in, it's like a massive river hitting whatever city you're in, and it just washes everything away. And to be honest, that's kind of scarier to me than just a big wave. Anyway, what now? Um, what natural disasters are there? I mean, we've done volcanoes before, I guess I probably could just go and do that. I could go and make lava very angry. By giving it gravity of about zero, uh, zero point minus zero point five, I think was the thing that we had last time, and it worked. And uh, yeah, this should mean that we have some volcanoes eventually. And in fact, I could just do a little bit of this. Oh, we got some earthquakes going on. Land is rising. Just like real volcanoes. I think that 1.4 is a good number, and you can see that, yeah, we're definitely about to have some volcanoes going on. We got some tectonic movement over here, we got some tectonic movement over here. And all of the lava is just being launched up into space. Look at that volcano. That's a big one right there. And it should, hopefully, close up by itself. we got a big boulder here. Hopefully this boulder is... I guess, kinda. That's Yeah, that boulder's a little capstone. And... Oh! <laughs> yeah, we can see how it just ejected some land. This lava is also going to eventually, hopefully, start cooling down. But I think it's going to take it a while. Anyway, for now, we got a bunch of ash falling down to earth. Look at that. By the way, sorry about that little snap right there. That was my knees. And, um... Seems kind of like a volcano. I mean, definitely quite a strong volcano. Um, we'll probably have some weaker volcanoes soon. In fact, this lava here seems to be rising. And I actually could probably give it a little bit of a head start by just giving it a little thing to go up. Just shatter the earth a little bit.
Anyway, so, um, there's a bunch of meteors falling. This is basically just how a planet forms. Actually, if I want to do that, I need to turn off CD heat. Because if I do that, then it just cracks the planet and it doesn't do pressure. And if it doesn't do pressure, then it doesn't turn into lava. And if it doesn't turn into lava, then it won't heat up and the cracks won't heal. Because when the lava cools back down, it will merge back with both sides of the stone and make them merge together again. But right now, instead, we're going to get a bunch of shattered pieces of earth. And I'll also temporarily leave CD heat off so that everything actually starts to come back down to earth. It's going to take it a while though. Also something that really cool is happening as it crashes into the sand. Because what's happening is this happened in the Forming a Planet video as well. Which you should definitely go watch by the way. It's become one of my most popular videos ever. All of these pieces of rock and stuff are falling down. And they are basically cutting through all this rock. Which I, if I get the knife. Then I, if I, I can basically show you, it's it's basically just cutting through like this. And if it hits this rock, and another one hit this rock, then it's of it. You can see that it's going to start cutting it up. And when rock becomes just a single particle, as we can see, it, these two particles here, they'll turn into sand. I think that might be a piece of ice. But the, oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! There's no way. Oh. There's actually no way. In all of this planet, there was a single atom of rotator left. That's crazy. Wow. We're going to leave that there for the future city, city people to find. And actually, because we've turned off CD heat, this planet here, it's actually this lava. You can see here is where it's turning to rock, and it's actually started cooling down. So I might um, put the orb speed up a little bit so that it keeps liquid. And this is also hopefully going to create some cool spirals and just keep the core a little bit hotter. Anyway, yeah, I think that we've got basically most of the particles come, come, came back down to Earth. It's only a few little bits that are still orbiting us. And actually, I could probably go and just very, very lightly. I hope that that's at least pulled everything towards us a little bit more. Either way, we have had kind of an ap ap apocalypse, but we've recovered from it, mostly. My question is, what's all this? Oh, that's dirt. Okay. I wonder if all of these particles they're going so fast. I wonder if these are rotators. No, that's metal. Interesting. So there's, there are th there's bits of metal that are still just flying around. And yeah, you can see that there's a bunch of metal over here because that's where the metal's landed. And I, for example, that's a piece of metal. Not the ice, but the metal. can't click on it but you know yeah that's definitely metal because reasons are oh, this I think here is metal oh wait which was one of these somewhere I don't know oh it's this one yep metal
This is a very fast piece of metal right there. Yeah, the metal is all very interesting. And as we can see a piece of metal about to come in. So that actually just landed into the rock. And there's another piece of metal that just came through. Oh, a bit of metal about to collide right here. And it came out the other side. So that's cool. I'm now just going to be watching for pieces of metal coming in. Actually, I think I can just do F. Control F. Base F, no. That is not frame by frame. I don't know how to do it. And I think that this is the best it's going to get. Anyway, so we've done some volcanoes. And I think that now I can finally turn on CDE heat again. Which means that this should all of a sudden... Although actually all the metal might be a little bit of a problem. No, not really. I, I'm, I'm going to delete it all anyway because it's kind of... It's kind of annoying to just see all that metal flying in and then somehow not getting stopped. I just realised I was trying to delete the suns. That is not something I should try to do. I think we all already know how well deleting the sun would end. Anyway, so yeah, that's our planet stable again. CD heat is on, so I might need to just give it a little bit of a boop to get going. Yeah, there we go. I think that our planet should have... Oh, yeah, there we go. Our planet is alive. It's excited. It's excited. It's excited. Come on. Please get the core going again. There we go. A small problem, I think that I may have accidentally just started a volcano. Oh. Okay. 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 We can fix that. We can fix that. We don't want another mega volcano. The only volcanoes I want are nice little ones, which won't absolutely mess up everything. For example, like this. See, this volcano isn't that bad. It's right below the surface. It hasn't messed up anything yet. Although... Oh yeah, we do definitely have another volcano starting to appear. This is a massive magma cloud that is about to start. Um, upping, up, up, up. No, no. But there is definitely a volcano building. Anyways, so I can't really think of any other natural disasters to be honest. I mean, I guess that we could actually do one more thing to mimic earthquakes, which the only really accurate thing would be to just do this. And actually, if I do this, then that should. Also kind of mimic a tsunami, I guess. If I just go and mimic it better, then... Yeah, tsunami. Look at that, it's kind of... Yeah, look at that, that is definitely a tsunami.
Anyway, whoa. Whoa, I forgot about that. Um. <laughs> I, I didn't realize the asteroid was so big. Um. Oh, wow. That looks really cool. Anyway, so we had a volcano, which uh, you might want to rewind back to there because that was interesting. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, you should definitely like and subscribe. I kind of want to do a proper one, though. So, uh, yeah, you should definitely like and subscribe so that you can see more stuff like this. And this time, I'll only... I just realized that it's still the same size as the planet. I'll only have it be about the same size as the core. That seems like a good size, so that is about that big, and I'll have it start all the way over here at the border. And actually, we can do that thing that movies always think happens with a asteroid, where... Oh, I was wondering why the border was so far away. Anyway, we can do that thing that movies always think happens with an asteroid where there's a bunch of little asteroids that come before it. Which, I don't know, it might be true, might not. I don't know that much about asteroids. But we will see. And the first, the first wave is kind of coming in now. And we will see they should hit the kind of the top of the planet. Oh, no, they just hit right into the middle. And, uh, okay, not that much stuff happens. Second wave. This wave is a little bit hotter. Or, actually, no. Yeah, we've not got the second wave, we've just got the actual asteroid. And it's going to be followed by a second wave. So it's time to see what will happen when the planet get hit by an asteroid. Get, get hit? Gets hit by an asteroid. This one's definitely not going to aim straight for the core. Um, never mind. Let's try that again, but without CDE heat on this time. And then after that, it's going to be the end of this video. So you should definitely stick around to the end because we're going to see some cool stuff happening. Anyway, this time, see the heat off. And then, yeah, we can also do this thing that movies think happens. And we can just have a bunch of little asteroids come in first. And then just have a final big one. So get ready, let's see what happens. I probably could have also introduced a little bit of metal into this just for a bit of fun. And it's not moving. Hopefully the metal starts moving. Oh, you know what, we don't need the metal actually, the metal is kind of... Nah. We don't want it. But what we do want... Is this a big meteor? And actually, well, I'm missing this. Uh, the, the asteroids crashed into the planet a bit early. Yeah, nothing really interesting happened. I guess they smashed the ice a little bit. We can also probably do that. And that should hit not long before the real one, before the main event. And I could actually just give the main event a little bit more oomph. 
by putting a bunch of rocks in its way and it should you know, like do stuff to those rocks, not sure what it'll do to them, but you know. And oh yeah, those those rocks that just came in, those did a little bit more damage. This asteroid has been damaged a little bit, but... Oh yeah. And everything has just been ejected. And look at us crashing into the core. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe because it really, really helped. It really helps out small channel like this one. And I guess that I will see you all next time. No, I'm actually going to wait for those to hit. Drink some water. And donate to my GoFundMe so I can go to work at all and help people in poverty in need. As well as doing a bit of reforestation in the Amazon rainforest. You can find that GoFundMe on my channel description. And uh, yeah, I guess that I will see you all as soon as I can no longer see you all because my planet's being destroyed and I'm, I live on my planet. That's right. I live in this bit right here. I like to call it Iceland, but it's definitely not. I don't live in Iceland. I only went to visit there for a little bit. Anyway, big meteors, big asteroids. My home planet is gone. Wait a minute, what's that, what's that sound coming out my window? What's that? What's that? Oh no. Oh no, is there an asteroid now? Oh no.